At night, the shuttle's cameras are pointed back to Earth when they capture this event. Objects appear. White dots suddenly show up, maybe from behind the Earth, from behind a cloud. The objects then seem to move into a circle. Because of the particular positions of these objects, one interpretation has been that it's deliberate to attract attention. As the objects align, they begin to flash. Some investigators believe that this represents an attempt by UFOs to communicate. Are these objects talking to each other? Uh, are they talking to us? You know, what are they doing? Why are they blinking? But photo analyst D'Antonio has a theory to explain the blinking. The low light camera basically picks up intensities. It can't see the shapes of the objects. These objects are irregular in shape. And one thing that they're doing that people don't realize is they're tumbling. And as they tumble, they present a bright face and then a less bright face, a bright face and a less bright face as they move. This looks like blinking to the low light camera. The viewers assumed that they were in the atmosphere thousands of miles away. If they had been a thousand miles away, that would have been very impressive, but they were not. Oberg also thinks that the objects are bits of debris near the shuttle. Things do look differently, and given enough random variations and random motions, you'll find circles, you'll find triangles, you'll find rhomboids. You'll see them all if you wait long enough. While Musgrave believes the STS-80 footage can be explained, encounters on two of his other missions cannot. Twice he sees and films this object. I guess most people call it a snake. I was impressed because it had internal motion. Musgrave contacts Mission Control. They too are unable to identify the sighting. I tried to find out. I don't know what it was. To this day, Musgrave does not have a satisfactory explanation for what he saw. I do not know what that thing was, and I don't know what it is today. 